Hello everyone, this is Heart Property Manager. Welcome to our YouTube channel, the only channel that will provide you with up-to-date real estate information, empower you, uh, help you grow, help you invest, help you discover some of the things that you did not know about real estate. So today I want us to talk just general about general knowledge about how to invest in real estate. But one of the key areas I know that has brought so many uh, conversation is about property inheritance, property law, and all those things. But I'll, being that I'm not a lawyer, but I'll just gist little about it and discuss things like um, when they talk about inheritance and um, whether there's a will written. And I think mostly in Africa, the issue is about why uh, and if women are allowed to inherit real estate. And I'll speak about Kenya because in Kenya right now, women are allowed to inherit a real estate but that is influenced by so many factors if your parents or your parent has written a will and has clearly stated who is supposed to inherit their property then even as a woman if you're not included there there's nothing you can do about it because a will is respected is recognized by the law so there's nothing you can do about it <sighs> and that makes me really sad as a woman because we come, for me, I come from the Luo community in Kenya, and I know very well that our community recognizes the boy child as the key, the conqueror, the inheritor, the person who will bring continuity to the family, the person who will carry the family name, the person who will protect the family, the person who... So the boy child is given everything in the Luo culture. I don't know about other cultures, but I think most African cultures are closely related, closely intertwined in terms of inheritance, especially for women. So for us, I think in the Luo culture is like um, a no, 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 almost a no, 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 like a girl is supposed to be married and inherit property wherever she will be married or whoever will marry her. But now those dynamics are bringing so many challenges right now because, hmm, Yours truly here, I'm still single. And I'm sure there are other people who are in my status. Not that you don't want to get married, but of course, marriage is hard. And times are hard. And things have changed over time where uh, reasons and people who want to marry or settle down, it's becoming a very slippery road. <laughs> it's coming a very slippery road and that nobody wants to take. And of course, if you take it, to hold it is also another thing because the road is too slippery so it requires um some sort of strength that majority of people don't have leave alone all the things that people say generally may i believe marriage is hard i've been married before so i know it's an environment that requires that you have a lot of stamina to hold it together. So for that reason, I don't know about your community. Maybe you can also share with us on the comment section and tell us what what does your community say about uh, inheritance, especially for women. And so uh, when there's a will, like I said, uh, unless the will was not written by the person when they were in right state of mind, that will was not um uh, attested that means nobody signed it because the will requires to have at least two signatories to make it legal legally binding a will can also be verbal like you can be called together as family like your parents can call you and say now guys um in, in one day when i die please john thomas utino uh chege the land near the river belongs to you you'll take over the shop um the main house will remain to whoever uh peter if you are called together and your parents um divide the property for you that is legally binding that is legally binding so the issue of inheritance has become so emotive in many places and many cultures not just in africa i mean in other countries um the systems are much clearer 
and they are stronger and so inherited issues don't bring so much conflict like it does in africa because in africa i think up to now many women are still left out on inheriting community property it is more or less another community regarded as an abomination like in my community if i were to go back home now and decide i am not married i have a child and i belong here because this is my father's house and I need to stay here because I don't have anywhere else to go. Or you find even family members where you find the, the in terms of uh, financial empowerment, people are not equal. So you find the young girls or young women today who are struggling, they're not married, they have single mothers who have children. And if your father had vast of property or vast of land, and you find yourself in a situation where you are not allowed to be part of this so those are some of the issues that the society is still dealing with in terms of land and inheritances and i get this all the time when i read online i've seen so many disputes concerning inheritance and how many people have actually lost their lives families that have been completely been broken as a result of the disputes concerning inheritance land inheritance and how the land was distributed and sometimes it does not just remain with the nuclear family it extends to the community where you find uh, your uncles um, your extended uh, grandparents and uh, grandmothers are also claiming the same property so the journey towards uh, settling such disputes is usually long painful and it's difficult to come out of it and the emotions that are involved <laughs> when it comes to land issues it's just too heavy for anyone i mean i think if your family has gone through those kind of disputes concerning inheritance you can share with us in kenya you've heard about all these issues njenga karume uh, the late njenga karume how the family i think to date they're still having those disputes of the will was the will was contested and so they went to court and the wrangles are still going on. I can mention so many families I know that have fought over a small piece of space, like a boundary, a boundary that has led people to die. The, the, like the dispute started from the tree is on this side of our land and the other person claiming that this big tree is the boundary between me and you. And because people are also too lazy to invite surveyors and do this proper mapping of the land and subdivision, the disputes in the rural areas are more deeper than urban areas. I, I would say that I don't know whether it's lack of awareness, but if you own property in the rural areas that has never been subdivided for whatever reason, I think the best thing is to try and subdivide it. But <laughs> who am I speaking to? I, I come from a family where we're also still struggling with such, such issues of land subdivision and just having proper paperwork for your land. The problem with that is there are people in this country who basically live feed and eat and relax and enjoy courtesy of finding properties that are not belonging to anyone looking for land that is not at the registrar land registrar and going to the land registrar to create peppers for these pieces of land and selling them. Did you know that? Did you know that there are people who have enriched themselves from your ignorance? Like the more you leave your land open and not subdivided and not registered, the more risky it is for you because one day somebody will come there with a bulldozer and pull you out and claim that property. And like they say, the courts will stay, the status quo remains. So you remain out in the cold as the court try to resolve this. But I wouldn't say that is so much so for the 
community land because community land laws are quite protective and of course the local people the chief the vigil elders will get involved to understand this but my greatest pain and the greatest <sighs> the greatest thing that i hope that my community and other communities in kenya can try to overcome is giving inheritance to the girl child i i get i get the culture and i respect culture but i feel we have come to a point where <laughs> we need to be cognizant that not everyone is going to be married and when they don't get married where do they belong who where, where do they belong where are they supposed to go apart from their own homes where they were born and as parents i think if you're watching this as a parent um you should be asking yourself as a father or as a mother that if you have three daughters and you die and you do not bequeath this land to them on a written will and they don't get married are you being fair are you really being fair to your children I don't think it is fair to use culture to try and deny your children their rights. I don't think it's right to use culture to squeeze your children into marriage or relationships that do not work because they want to belong. Literally, I think that's what the culture makes most women or us to fail. I don't know how you people feel about this. I think for me, the issue of culture and land inheritance is so deep and personal to me because I am one of those people who have been affected by that. And my dad uh, was able to own land. But when you look at it right now, when I think of my sisters and siblings, I feel like you would have done better and allowed um all his children to own at least a piece of something even if you're going to get married but at least you already own something i think it's a good thing i don't know why it's a good thing that when you get married you have something that you're coming with a piece of land that you inherited from your father whatever it is but i don't think your gift to your new life, to marriage should just be money, clothes, food. I think it's a beautiful thing to give to your child a piece of land when they're getting married. That's just my opinion because I I have seen and I still see many. If you come to urban areas, especially a women struggle. I mean, if you have brothers and sisters who already are sure that they're going to inherit the piece of land where you stay. As a woman, you are thrown into the oblivion to find for yourself, to, to manage for yourself or find a man and stay there no matter what happens to you because that is where you belong. Where you are born, they don't want you to belong there. You, you become a guest. Once you become an adult, in your own home where you are born you become a guest and can't we change the culture can't we bring in something that works in the current life that accommodates everyone and doesn't leave anybody out it with all due respect to my culture and the african culture which i think is awesome it's very family oriented and encouraging continuity and i understand the part of wanting every woman to get married you know you have children and bring continuity to the family but i believe it is something that can be changed and accommodate the current situations that you are dealing with and the situation is in every family you go to you'll find one or two girl women who are unmarried and probably will never get married. And so you should always feel welcome. I think our community should feel okay 
when I can decide to go back home and say, okay, my dad left for me this piece of land. Let me build here. Don't you think so? Please share your views and comments on this issue of women and inheritance. What is your view on it? Uh, don't you think it's about time this law is changed? And as women, we need to push this to happen and not just allow ourselves to be silent. Because women bring a lot to the table. Women bring a lot to the table. I might not be married, but I bring a lot to the family. You can educate all your brothers. You can support your family. You can do all these things. But then again, now when it comes to family inheritance, you become an outsider. I don't think that is something that should happen. I think if you are a child of your father, you should be considered as a child of your father by the fact that you belong there, not by pushing you to take certain positions or go and settle in a place where you feel not comfortable or you might even die just because you need to have continuity. Am I even... I don't know what you feel, but I think this is a conversation that should be open and we should be able to discuss it and just agree that it's about time. We are in the year 2023, we are moving and we should open up to certain conversations that were more or less considered abomination a while back. And maybe women should be, I, and I think some communities are already doing it. I think uh, like in Kenya, the Kikuyus, the Kalenjins, I think it's still very normal for a girl to inherit land and actually even build a home near their home and continue. But for us, Luos, it's, mm, mm, it's abomination. It's, it's a culture where the home belongs to the boys and the girls should go get married and build their own families. Please share your thoughts on the issue of women and property inheritance down below. My name is Winnie and this is Hat Property Managers, a company that is bringing you all the real estate news that is happening in Kenya and all the drama that goes with it. And maybe as we go along, we'll continue with issues to deal with land fraud and why so many people are still losing money in real estate despite having some knowledge of the processes that need to be followed. Thank you very much for watching. We love you. We appreciate you. Like, follow us, share this video, and let us open up the conversation concerning women and in property inheritance. Bye. What do you have to